First of all, I love America. I love the Constitution. I love the First Amendment. I can I want to carry an old gospel. There's one guy in that crowd that, that he had read the book. He's like, yeah. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. You see that. Austrian right? economics. <laughs> Tell them about Adam Smith invisible hand. <laughs> First of all, I love America. I love the Constitution. I love the First Amendment. I can I want to carry an old guns. I love it. Property, property. And let me tell you something. If you care about your country, I'll read Ludwig von Mises and the six lessons of the Austrian economic school, motherfuckers. Boy, <laughs> you know, there's one guy in that crowd that, that he had read the book. He's like, yeah. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. You see that. Austrian right? economic. <laughs> Tell them about Adam Smith invisible hand. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> every every victory is going to be new. Like, hey, read Friedman or Keynes, no Hayek, only Keynes or Friedman or Locke. Locke is very good. I have 12 rules for life. Georgian, pitch said, I fight for you. <laughs> You say voodoo, ec no voodoo economics. It's real, eco it's supply side economics. I punch in face. <laughs> <laughs> it's like he really went in. And by the way, for those of you who don't know, it's a good recommendation. The Austrian School of Economics. It's not actually a physical school, in case you were wondering. Uh, it's built on, again, the theories of Adam Smith. I always recommend that you go back to Adam Smith. I think it's probably the, probably the best in understanding free enterprise principles. Uh, Ludwig von, did he say, my shish shish. I think he said it right. Yeah, I think I he said it really. It he ago. said it right. Uh, uh, the six lessons include. Um, I mean, it really just talks about economics, free enterprise. You know how the government intervention right, creates red tape. It's uh, uh, economic policy, thoughts for today and tomorrow, is uh, what you can read there. It's popular with libertarians. Ron Paul is a, a counselor, a counselor of the Mises Institute. So. Pretty big deal, the uh, the book. Pretty big deal for a UFC fighter to talk about this. Not to be confused with O.J. Simpson's uh, upcoming book, Six Ways I Would Have Done It, to be released um, posthumously, of course. So, yep. And spoiler alert, we read it. And it kind of zagged. <laughs> <laughs> no gloves. And the six lessons, by the way, by this Austria, it, it actually became a cultural phenomenon in Brazil. And that came from the public's frustration with the government's, you know, sort of mismanagement of the economy. Um, of course, Lula's first term policies. So it's something you're seeing a groundswell in Brazil. I would keep my eye on it. It's just interesting to see a fighter do this. He really packed a lot yeah. into that. He had about 10 seconds and he used every bit of it. Yes. And I, I do think and I hope it did inspire people to understand a little bit about how the, you know, the government can't create jobs. It, right. It's extracting wealth from society. Very simple stuff, but uh, I, I'm, I'm here for it. I'm yeah. here for more UFC fighters doing Econ 101 stuff. Yeah, it's going, to be, it's going to be a lot of fun to see what happens. Also, he didn't miss the opportunity to try and pressure yeah. Joe Rogan <laughs> to appear on his podcast. Love like, it. With, again, with granular detail here. Second of all, I just started a podcast. It's going to be the best podcast in the business. The name is... <laughs> Show me the money. <laughs> my guest will be Joe Rogan. You cannot refuse. The people want to see you on my Good. podcast. This Monday at 7 a.m. Eastern Time, 6 Central Time, Joe Hogan going to be on my podcast. We're going to discuss Bitcoin. <laughs> <laughs> and you send hey with you send people from your podcast to my podcast and it's it, i send to you it's going to be win-win for both of us <laughs> it's my gift to you joe Rogan. while he's holding joe rogan's hand in the microphone <laughs> yes. you cannot refuse you cannot refuse. You. i feel like i can't refuse you're, <laughs> you're you holding me you see what i i almost killed somebody <laughs> You'll be on my show. Okay. <laughs> Just talk about trying to pressure. Like, I think he made it the name of the podcast on the spot. Yes. <laughs> he was pretty, uh, He was weird. Show <gasps> me <gasps> the money. <sighs> show was going to be money talks, but the bold guy, he's take. Boah. <laughs>
<laughs> Hola. And you can say, you can comment. Well, what's your favorite uh, educational reading as far as it relates to the uh, like economics? I always recommend Adam Smith. Uh, but you know, you can comment below. I just it was a lot of fun. And if if you you watched UFC 300, right? I did. Yeah. It was seldom does an event live up to the hype. It was a lot of fun. It was such a long day too. It started so early, and it was just like high octane for many many hours. And uh, it's rare that you yeah. get that payoff, but yeah. it was great. It was, a, I don't know if I told you about this. Like, everyone's talking about the Max Holloway, uh, Justin Gaethje fight. But to me, this Alex, Alex Pereira, the Peloton is what they call him. He got nut shot. They he call got, him the what? The Peloton? Po yeah, they do. Yeah. <laughs> I ride my bike <laughs> with 25 year old women. The trainer, Caroline, she off. <laughs> she said we're going uphill. I said no, I can't go uphill. Too tired. So he uh, actually, his name is Poetan. He gets nut shotted and he kind of adjusts himself, and the ref walks in and he slowly nudges him off. And within 10 seconds, knocked out the guy, just kicked oh, wow. him in the nuts. He was like, I'm in the zone. Don't bother me. And the ref just kind of, all right, I got it. It was one of the scariest things I've even ever as, seen as a grown man. Even his nuts are afraid of him. Yes, they, exactly. They, we're not going to make – we're good. We're yeah. good. My balls no, retracted watching here. him, no. and his yeah. didn't budge an inch. Yeah. So, because of fear, to be clear. That's the reason for the movement. Your balls will steal that guy. Effectively. Watch Ladder with Crowder live Monday through Thursday, 10 a.m. Eastern.